All right, so what we're looking at here is we have a spring pulling down on this ring. We have rope with the tension T2 pulling up at 30 degrees. And we have this other rope pulling in this direction with tension 1, and it has a 5 kilogram mass on the end. So we want to find out what T1 is. We also want to find out what T2 is. And we also want to find out what the force is pulling down here, so then we can finally calculate kind of the goal of this problem to find out how much will the spring be deflected if this is in all this position in static equilibrium. So let's start with the free body diagram. Okay, so we just are going to have, same as usual, we have one tension pulling in this way. We have our other tension pulling up at 30 degrees. And we're going to have the force of the spring pulling down. And we can say that this here is 30 degrees. Okay, so first of all, for T1, we can actually, we know that tension is the same everywhere in this rope. So right away we can say that T1 is, mm, I'll change colors. We'll say, first of all, T1 is equal to 9.81 times 5 kilograms, right? So this is going to give us T1 is equal to 49.05 newtons. All right, so now what we can do is we can do our force balance in the x direction. So we'll have sum of forces in x direction will equal negative T1. So we have negative 49.05 plus T2 times cosine of 30. Again, just coming back to simple trigonometry. Uh, will equal zero. And those are all the forces we have acting in the x direction, right? We're looking at this x component of T2. Okay, so we'll isolate for T2 is equal to 49.05 over cos 30. And we get T2 is going to be equal to 56 point, oh, that's about 638 newtons just by doing that calculation. Perfect, so now we know this whole force going at 30 directions and then we can use that to calculate its y component which will be in our force balance for the y direction. So we'll have sum of forces in the y direction. This has to be equal to zero but we know that it'll be negative force of spring because it's pointing down and again we really should be drawing our assumptions where this is the positive x direction and this is the positive y direction to give us that frame of reference. So we have negative for spring plus T2 sine 30. Just like that and that will all be equal to zero and these are the only two forces that we have acting in the y direction. The y component of T2 and the force of spring. So we know T2 is equal to 56.638 newtons so we can do this we can have well, we can just write 56.638 times sine 30 will be equal to, we'll just bring the force spring over here, so we have FSP. And if you multiply 56.638 times sine 30, we're going to get 28. 28 point, oh, let's say 3, 1, 9. Newtons. And again, T2, remember this is pointing in this direction, and for spring, this is pulling down in this direction. So now what we want to do uh, to finish off this problem, we want to find out how much is this string being stretched. So we have F is equal to Kx. K is our spring constant, X is our displacement from the unstretched position. So we already have F, we have, we can say even this is F sp, F spring. So we have 28.319 over K, which is 500, so this is Newtons, and this is over 500 Newtons per meter, is going to equal X. This is, our, again, our deflection from the unstretched position. Uh, and when you calculate this, 28.319 divided by 500, we will get 0 0.057 meters or this is also equal to 5.7 centimeters. So in order for this to this whole system to be in static equilibrium, especially with this uh, this rope angled at 30 degrees and this uh, this rope here horizontal with this pulley here not moving, 
Um, we're going to have to pull down on FSP. We're going to have to pull down on the spring with 28 newtons. And uh, that will mean that that, uh, that spring gets stretched out 5.7 centimeters.